In this video, we're going to be talking about how to interpret a stem and leaf plot. When we are interpreting and discussing a stem and leaf plot, we need to talk about the shape of the plot. We need to look at where the majority of the data is situated in the plot and where we can see a peak. When interpreting and discussing a stem and leaf plot, there are four different types of stem and leaf plots that we can talk about. First of all, let's look at a symmetrical stem and leaf plot. This stem and leaf plot here is symmetrical because we can see that the majority of the data is situated in the centre of the plot around here. We can also see that this is a peak in the data. If we rotate the stem and leaf plot 90 degrees anti-clockwise and look at it on its side like this, you can particularly see the symmetrical aspect of this plot. We can see that the peak of the data is right here in the centre and if we look at the shape of the plot we can see that it comes to a peak here and then comes down and it is almost perfectly symmetrical. The majority of the data values are in the centre of the plot and as a result the peak of the stem and leaf plot is in the centre of the plot. This is what we call a symmetrical stem and leaf plot. Now let's look at some non-symmetrical stem and leaf plots. Let's look at this first one. We can see now that the majority of the data is not situated in the centre of the plot. This time it is situated towards the bottom of the plot down here. We still have some data values up the top, but not that many. So the shape of my plot looks something like this. We can see that the data values are skewed towards the bottom of the plot. And when we talk about a non-symmetrical stem and leaf plot, we use this word particularly, skewed. We need to talk about the plot as being skewed and which way it is skewed. We can see that this plot here is skewed towards the bottom of the plot. And we can see that the peak is situated here towards the bottom of the plot. Once again, if we rotate the stem and leaf plot 90 degrees anti-clockwise and look at it in this fashion, we can see how skewed it is. We can also see the shape. If I draw the shape over the top like this, we can see that it looks something like this. This brings us to the correct mathematical term for this type of stem and leaf plot. We say that it is negatively skewed. It is a negatively skewed stem and leaf plot. The reason why we say it is negatively skewed is to look at this and imagine that this line down here is like a number line. And we look particularly at the tail of the plot. The tail of the plot is situated here and it's going in this direction towards the left. When we can see the tail moving towards the left like this, we know that we, it is negatively skewed. It is pointing in a negative direction. So this stem and leaf plot is what we call negatively skewed. It means that the plot has the majority of the data skewed towards the bottom of the plot. And we say it's negatively skewed. Now let's look at another non-symmetrical stem and leaf plot. Again, this one 
is not symmetrical and we can see that the data is all situated up towards the top of the plot. There are still some values down here, but not that many of them. The data values are skewed towards the top of the plot and we can see that the peak is towards the top of the plot as well, the peak being here. Once again, if we look at this stem and leaf plot by rotating at 90 degrees anti-clockwise, we can see the shape of the plot looking like this. Once again, look at which way the tail is pointing. The tail is on this side and pointing in a positive direction. So we say that this stem and leaf plot is positively skewed. And this is the correct mathematical term that we use for this type of stem and leaf plot. It's positively skewed because the majority of the data is all situated towards the top of the stem and leaf plot. The fourth type of stem and leaf plot that you could describe is an evenly distributed stem and leaf plot. Here is an example. You can see here that we don't really have any peak at all. If I try and draw the shape of this, it's almost like a vertical line. The data values are evenly spread throughout the plot. And if we look at the stem and leaf plot rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise, we can see that there certainly are no peaks. It's like a horizontal line now. There are no peaks in this distribution and therefore we say it's evenly distributed. So in summary, when we are discussing and interpreting a stem and leaf plot, there are four different types of stem and leaf plot that you can talk about, and we describe the shape of the stem and leaf plot. You can have a symmetrical stem and leaf plot, which means that the peak is in the centre of the stem and leaf plot. You can have a negatively skewed stem and leaf plot, which means that the peak is situated towards the bottom of the stem and leaf plot. You can have a positively skewed stem and leaf plot, which means that the peak is situated towards the top of the stem and leaf plot. Or you can have an evenly spread stem and leaf plot, which means that there is no peak there at all. When you are interpreting and discussing a stem and leaf plot, you need to talk about the shape of the plot. You need to describe whether it is symmetrical or not. And then if it is not symmetrical, whether it is skewed and which way it is skewed, positively or negatively. In your project, you will be asked to interpret and analyse a stem and leaf plot that you have drawn. Please remember that this is what you need to do. Describe the shape of the, of the plot. Is it symmetrical or not symmetrical? Which way is it skewed, positively or negatively? I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.